So with that, uh, I just want to conclude my uh, thought process here in terms of this thing. So the topmost uh, item which you think about it, which needs consideration from the NPD angle is the right pricing and some blueprint or framework of how the right pricing should be. And how it has to have considerations across the verticals and across the data domain as well. There, there are two aspects. Data domain is a horizontal aspect and the vertical is like your finance data or people-centric data or say weather centric data or car centric data so that is the vertical centric item so how you're going to achieve it so this this might be a uh, I, I i would say it, it is a hard problem to solve so this is something um, that needs to be thought about then the second is as i told you what is the protection for the data provider himself in terms of of course there are myriad of laws across say finance data all of these things now suppose a company is having user centric data as well as the finance data now what is the protection when they give out these data, when they uh, do some aggregation using both these data sets because they have user dimensions as well as the finance dimension and the NPD is forcing them to give a, a dimension which is uh, blending these two. So how does the, uh, what is the liability protection available for that person, right? So for that data provider or the source. Uh, and uh, the thing is, if you think about PDP, there is a um, uh, usage, right? You need to get explicit consent for usage of a data from a customer. Now that usage, would you be able to enforce across your ecosystem, right? We talked about the tree, the federated tree, how it is going out. So what if some algorithm runs and tweaks the usage in terms of this thing? And so what happens there, right? So the who has the honors of audit, whether it's going to be a government authority or who, who has the honors of audit, or should I spend my own uh, rupees on going and auditing each time or the whole ecosystem is using it the right way or not? So that is another, um, another, another concern which has to be addressed there. And if you think about it, anonymization itself is a technical challenge. Um, if, if you look at latest uh, technical literature and all these things, uh, truly anonymized data set is, is, is something very hard to achieve. It, it is achievable within a contained ecosystem within your company. But say, if a person is collecting aggregate sets from your company and 10 other companies and he's able to add some intelligence with this to the sum of the parts, you can get, you may not be able to get the exact name and the identity of the individual, but you still know or you have the digital persona of that person, right? So there is a problem there in anonymization itself. So uh, the, the, the whole non-personal concept here, non-personal concept as well as data democratization in the sense all the data sets is available from all the companies outside, that sounds a bit oxymoronic to me in terms of how to achieve both together, right? And the last thing which we talked about in terms of the IP rights is, uh, if data is the USP of your organization, data or its derivative or its inference is the USP or the IP of your organization, pretty much I believe this commoditization, which is which the NPD is bringing about and scrutiny by public domain of all the assets which you are having, it can pretty much nuke that IP or USP of yours. So that is another thing how it can be addressed, whether data as a business especially from a startup perspective, probably a tech company who has uh, trillions and petabytes of data points can still survive and go ahead and do new, do new creation. But if you are a data oriented startup, which you're doing that, whether you have a viable business at all comes into question with this particular aspect.